Hello everyone, this is Blue Yabel Ja, and I wanted to just do <clears throat> some tarot for the collective, specifically for those who are, um, you know, alone for the holidays. You know, I understand that, you know, not as much as the holiday season, you know, is to bring good tidings of good cheer and all of that, there are some of us who don't get to experience that for one reason or another. Could be you know, missing a loved one or love failed or just personal issues in the, uh, you know, in your life, workplace, whatever. But I asked Spirit before I came on, um, what should I do for the people? And that's what I heard. So I'm just clearing the space. Thank you, Spirit, for this opportunity to serve the people. It's not I that speak, it is you. So whatever message you want to give, I greatly appreciate it and I thank you. My spirit family, my audacious, divine feminine, divine masculine, Ashe. All right. Just want to my hands. So let's see, what deck? Um, here I'm hearing more Oracle. I, I mm. well, you know what? The first thing I heard was to go with Old Faithful is what I heard. The Old Faithful. <laughs> and this is Old Faithful, the Rider Weight deck. Anybody that does tarot or work with tarot knows that generally the Rider Weight deck is, is how we get initiated into this process. And so I call it Old Faithful. <laughs> At least they call it Old Faithful. And sometimes, just to let you know, I tend to read the, flip, uh, the, the shuffles. Like, as I'm shuffling, if my attention is brought down to the cards and I see something and I'm moved to absorb it and, and entertain it and read it, I will. And I've got stuff flying everywhere. So give me just a second. I believe it all. When things jump out like that, I believe it's for a reason. And I had, sorry if it's making too much noise on my mic. I have s several decks over here. And when I, you know what, I just heard take that one too. And so <clears throat> when I was shuffling, you saw the one card drop, but then another card drop from a different deck. So evidently this is going to be a mixed read. So... Spirit, do I need to pull one more card? I'll leave it up to you, but right, we're just gonna go one more just for kicks. Hurt at the top. Alright, and I'm gonna give it to the way it fell out. So the first one that hit was the Knight of Swords. Oh, that's better for you to read. The Knight of Swords. This way. Sorry, camera's inverted. The next card was the uh, chariot card, which is the railroad build card from the um, Hoodoo Tarot deck. The next card was the free man. And yeah, I'm already here. What's going on here? And then the next one was the uh, Four of, of Cups. So with the Knight of Swords, uh, which you can see here. <clears throat> I'll try to get up here a little bit closer. And I do write all my cards. Uh, it just kind of, I have different things that come to me and just kind of helps me. But uh, for the Knight of Swords, reading intuitively, um, I just heard like a, a, a moving in a hurry, like a, a, like there's something in a hurry, like you like that you feel like that you need to do that you're rushed to get something done. Like I need like you're feeling like look, it's now or never. That's that's the energy that I get intuitively for this card this card. So I don't know if it's that you're anticipating a job change or you feel like you need to do a job change or if it's a relationship that you're kinda of going back and forth with, you know, and, and you're having to you're feeling like, look, it's now or never. 
if I need to go ahead and go out for this job or, or nothing's going to happen. Or I need to go for this relationship or nothing's going to happen. Or I need to leave this relationship. All of it vice versa. But there is something going on for whoever this reading is for that um, it's a now or never situation. And the thing of it is, is that if you don't move, spirit's going to move. We have the railroad bill card. I'll try to get up closer so you can see it. And in the railroad bill card, that is synonymous to the chariot card. You probably see chariot that I've written up at the top. And what that says to me is um, it, it's, it still speaks of in a hurry. Um, and it, and it's both of these cards, the Knight of Swords and the, this chariot card for uh, railroad bill, both of them speak of being sure of what, you're sure of the fact that you have to make a decision. That's what I'm getting. You're sure of the fact that a decision has to be made. And the thing of it is, is are you ready and are you confident in that? One thing is for certain, the change has got to be made. That is for certain. You've got a king of swords here to tell the story. You've got the chariot, i.e. railroad bill. And look at railroad bill. Railroad bill is standing in front of this train, um, on the train, at the very front, like, I know where we're going. I, I know what I need to do. So then the card that fell after the railroad bill card was the, the free man, also from the Hoodoo Tarot deck. And whatever this, this situation is that you know is now or never that you have to make a decision, like I said, the one thing that's constant is that you know that a decision has to be made. The free man card indicates the outcome. So whatever decision you make, be confident in it because you're going to make the right decision that's for you. Go with your gut because this is going to be your outcome, the free man. It's going to free you from the worry. It's going to free you from, you know, the negative piece of whatever the issue is at hand. So just know that you need to go with your gut because the, the outcome is the free man. You're going to take what belongs to you or take what you want or need out of that and then you're going to move on and become and be free of your situation. In this picture of the free man, um, this gentleman literally went inside of, uh, of a, a grave, or what do you call it when they're entombed like that? Um, I can't think of the word, but he went inside, and evidently there were some belongings on the inside that he took and walked clean up out of that sucker. He had the confidence to say, you know what, this was a dead situation, but I'm going to take whatever I need from this dead situation, and I'm going to walk away and I'm going to keep my head up, and I'm going to be free from it, and I'm going to build on it. The last card that came out um, was the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups to me, I literally just heard in my head, head I'm not taking, I'm taking no shorts. Taking no shorts is what I hear intuitively with this card. Like, yeah, you're going to come back with the bullshit, but... I'm not taking, I know, looking at the cups ahead of him, I know what I could have. And what you're bringing to me, eh, uh, I need to, I, I'm not feeling that, so try again. So what I'm saying is, is when you finally make this decision to do what you have to do, turn this right back up. When you finally make the decision to do what you need to do, and then you free yourself, not only just physically, but even emotionally and spiritually, from the burden of it. You'll be given the strength to be able to discern what's good for you and what's not. What I feel intuitively from this is that this person or you uh, will be more confident and settled in your decisions and then able to properly vet things that are presented to you regarding that matter. So that's what I have from a tarot. I will pull one oracle card um, just to give further further guidance. And I move to move, go to, no, 
I'm going to this deck. Sorry if the shuffling is loud. But I want to give one more tarot deck. Spirit, I thank you for being here and guiding. It's been some rough days for me. That's why I've been out of, of pocket. But now is the time. And, and I can't be, I can only be authentically me. I'm not here to, you know, become a, a superstar perhaps or whatever they call it on YouTube or whatever. I'm just here to work. And this is what I, this is my way of giving back to spirit because I don't want to lose my gifts and I want to be obedient. So, um, if you certainly want to connect to me, with me, I'm at uh, blueyamoja at gmail.com. So, uh, I think that's all I have out there. Um, and then, of course, my website, theempressspeaks.com. So, let's see. I don't know. Patience. Patience is what came up for you. So, what I'm hearing is when you make that decision, have the patience to wait for the success. Don't be so inclined to think that immediately, and it may be immediate for some, but what I'm saying is to set yourself up to be patient, to wait for the proper outcome from the, this action that you have to take. So be sure about, you're sure about a change needs to be made and finally get into the place of being able to make the call on that matter. Once you do, the, the free man, is the disposition that you'll be in where you'll feel free to move further ahead in that situation. And then also you'll be able to discern better as so that you won't be able to get into those types of matters again and have the patience to be able to wait for the desired result. That's all I have for you for that read. Again, it's for those, this is specifically for those who are just um, kind of lonely over the holiday seasons and just kind of reflecting over your life and things that you need to do. You know, some of us who spend holidays alone, we tend to reflect on a lot of things um, during this time. But um, right here uh, is what I'm getting from Spirit to share with you. Please like and subscribe um, so that I can share what Spirit has for me with those who need it. Have a blessed day, beautiful uh, new year, and I share.